This is World Fair, and we're at the International with the England boys, manager Ryan Barwick, assistant manager Dean Smart, captain Richard Darlison, and vice captain John Locke. Ryan, 3 1, England 1. But they were lucky. I wouldn't go as far as say lucky. I think that for 60 minutes, I think Scotland had a, had a really good game. They was in it. Um, but for another 60 minutes, our boys stepped up to the plate uh, and give me and Dean what we asked for, 100%. There wasn't a player out there that didn't give 100%. So I wouldn't say it was lucky. I just think a win's a win, and it's, that's what it is. There are some who might say that England were lucky not to be down to 10 men in the first half. I would say England was lucky not to be down to 10 men. And so would Dean. We had a chat about this at half time. We've got to control his, his enthusiasm, as you say it. Uh, he's a big player. He's one of the best players in this squad, and that's why he's in the squad. He never lets us down. He hasn't let us down today because he, for 110 minutes, he has given us 100%. He's not let us down one bit. And Scotland came out, very strong attack. Went in at half-time, nil-nil. What was the team talk? How did you get things going for the second half? The team talk, it wasn't really a team talk what me and Dean give. It was a team shout because we wasn't happy one bit what we, what, what we was doing. Yeah, we weren't happy because we, it, it wasn't just John, it, it was everybody. We wasn't happy because we know the potential of footballers we've got in the squad. It, it, we should have been four up. We should have been four up. Um, like I say, we, we, we never really had a team talk. We just we, we shouted at a lot of the young ones, but we also shouted at senior players such as your Richard and your, and your Johns. We had to tell them to calm down, get the ball on the floor, because the first half the ball was on the floor, it bypassed the midfield terribly, and that's not our game plan. We got sucked into their game, and that's how it went for 60 minutes. But when we turned to our game, the score says it all. Second half, you come out, Scotland score very quickly. Not too long after, the ever-reliable Terry Barwick pops up and you're equal. Well, to be honest with you, what, what happened was, that, that what I said in the dressing room after the game, was um, when you've got a winning team, and England's been a winning team, and uh, the reaction of the players once we went one deal down, that, for me, that was brilliant to see the reaction and to get us back in the game. We scored five or ten minutes after they scored. And, and I believe that from that, that point when we scored, we bossed the game. And we made, you know, they're all, I think the Scots, they'll have it different. But I think as soon as we scored, there was only one winners. There was only one winners. And, uh, you know, John got sent off in the second half uh, of extra time. But there was only 10 minutes ago, and just before that, we missed a couple of clear-cut chances. Darlow had a, well, I, I think it was shot. more difficult for him to uh, miss. miss, to be honest with you. He'd done well to put it over the bar. And John put one over the bar, which maybe he should have scored. And, um, you know, we had a goal disallowed. Um, you know, I believe that the best team won the game. Um, I think um, the players believed in themselves. Uh, we talked about the belief. And... Uh, the big players come to the front with Terry Barwick. I think, um, you know, I said to him, be patient. I said to him this morning that um, when he rolled up at the team hotel, that it's going to be a little bit different today to, to, compared to what he's been used to um, because they've had it all their own way, England, in recent years. And uh, I think that's nine on the trot now. But um, I knew it was going to be different because once, because it was pulled together so quickly um, within two weeks, and you got to thank John and, and Darlow for that. And to be fair, you know my my uh, involvement has been down to them really. And I asked Ryan, you know, that obviously Ryan come back into the fray, and um, I said to uh, Ryan, do you want me to carry on with it, some involvement? And he said, yeah, you know, he'll, he want me to be here, and and you know. I've, tried to back him the best I can um, and tried to big the players up as big as we can big, big them up, you know what I mean? And um, I just feel that, you know, this international got to carry on. It's down to these guys, John and Darlow, why it's gone on this year. I can thank them from that. Yeah, definitely. My, my involvement in the changing room, it's been a long time since I've been in an England changing room, 
since I last played, but being in there today, I was gutted was that I wasn't putting a shirt on. on. Yeah. I said to him, I, you know, I said to Ryan, you, know, you, I'm, I'm, you, I'm, you know, I'm looking around this room and they're putting shirt and I'm jealous of them because I want to be out there. But, but then that passion, you know, you've got to get that across to your players and you want to, but I think, you know, they, certain players, it they, they didn't come, come their way, but you're always going to have that. But I believe that the best team on the day won the game. Richard, you've captained the England side for a good few years now. That probably wasn't quite what you were expecting. No, they, uh, we, no, not what we was expecting. They come out at us in the first half. We took us a bit of time to settle the game down. When we got to when we got settled down, we started to play a bit. They scored early on, which I think really gave us a kick up the backside with them scoring. And we thought, right, we're in a game here. We knew we were in a game anyway, but that that just started us on a bit to kick on. And we knew that with the winners in the team that we'd got, we'd come through. And the penalty in extra time was it a Stonewall penalty? Stonewall. Yeah, it's, uh, the lad Rio Irving. He seemed to tackle Devon from behind. And if, it was a bit of a lazy tackle for me on from Rio, but yeah, it was definite penalty. And John, two yellow cards in the second half, and you were sent off, obviously. What was the incident all about? Well, to be fair, I didn't really know quite what was going on. I was involved in a bit of a frack in the first half, yes, and the kids run 18 yards probably to get involved and probably try and put his chest at me out of reaction, yeah. I poked him in the eyes. I got both eyes. And um, it, it was quite unfortunate that he, he got back up. Um, but then again, we I didn't get sent off. The referee told me and the linesman told me that they didn't see anything. So I um, so I come out of the second half and I thought that probably the second half, when we went 1-0 down, we I got a bit more of the ball, a bit more joy. We kept the ball a little bit better and tried playing football because that's probably what Scotland didn't do. And I just think that um, the best team come out on top as worthy winners. Um, there's been obviously I've been in, involved in easier internationals, but I think they just keep coming back, and, and really they're not that quite good enough yet. So um, there'll be a couple more years that I'll, I'll be involved, and I've got a lot more to do about myself next year. So I'll be back bigger and better. Well, England Scotland internationals are always passionate matches. Everybody goes out to to win, and they give everything. And you have to be said are one of the most passionate players on the pitch you are very determined to win so sometimes tempers can get a little bit beyond where they should be yeah you're 100 right and, and if i'm honest on another day maybe i'll get sent off and i probably was yeah not really as experienced england player now i don't think that was the right thing to do today yeah i got away with it as probably people's got away with other things in the international but i just think oh, i'm a born winner and i don't like losing and that's what i don't do and richard You've got to be proud of the boys. Can you do the same again in Glasgow next year? More than ever. We'll go up there again. It's going to be our 10th year if we win next year. So we grew up there, full squad, and look to win it again, Lynn, yeah. We're uh, really looking forward to it already, to be honest. Ryan, you were manager of England for four years. You retired. You're back again. Picked up where you left off. It's just what I do. <laughs> I'd like to thank... John Locke and, and Richard Dalston, I think they've, they've, they've helped me out a lot. I uh, I was ready for, for quitting this year. I didn't have time, a bit of personal stuff and, and, and bits and bobs. These boys have stepped up, said to me, come back, look, get in the dugout. We asked Smarty to come along. Uh, big presence, big presence because he's been, he's done it, and he was, been, he was one of the best. Um, I, it's just we love it. It's in us. It's in us, it's in us blood. I want. I want to. I, I'm here for another year. So watch out, Scotland. Is it getting harder though? We've seen different tournaments, kids' tournaments go, and perhaps less people turning out for the football year on year. What is the future for showman's football? Showman's football at the minute is is it's deteriorating. It, 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 it's deteriorating. So, we can't let this game, you, you, there's no point in playing a county match if, if there wasn't this game. This, this, this is the biggest one here. Um, showman's football, for me, I, I had a load of time on my hands when I was kids. Now, everybody's growing up fast, everybody's open in the winter, we're all doing different things. And that's your main priority. 
But to some people, and I can say four of us stood here, our main priority is showman's football. Well, that's good to hear. You've got the cup again for another year. Well done, boys. And we'll see you next year. This is World's Fair at the International.